I got the wheel mounts for this bandsaw made, but behind the lower wheel I need to mount this pulley and there's no room for it because I want the wheels to be as close as possible to the frame. So instead of moving everything forward, which would apply more torsion to the frame, I'm gonna have to carve a space for this pulley. I made this piece to fit in the pulley just to help me position it on the saw. I should have made this pulley a bit smaller because there's an awful lot of this frame that I need to carve away. But I don't want to just make the pulley smaller because then I'd have to also buy a new belt. I rigged up this crude sort of a circle jig to cut out that circular space for the pulley. I left a few ridges so the rudder base had something to write on. I still need to make cutouts for the belt, so I gotta mark roughly where it's gonna go. I didn't do too bad capturing most of the sawdust with my dust collector. On other bandsaw designs, I just left off a layer right here, but uh, with these thick layers, I needed to leave off half a layer. And the easiest way to carve out this cavity was after assembling the bandsaw frame. I need to make this leg a little bit wider so I can mount the motor to it better. I'm using an anti-static bag for a shim for the pulley to get a tight fit on there because these set screws don't really hold that well. Maybe on there too tight. Can't get it on. These are bicycle brake cable cutters. They work so much better than bolt cutters. And some slots for screws to attach it with later. Now that I figured out how to mount the motor and made a space for a lower pulley, I have to mount that pulley on the lower wheel. I'm mounting that pulley about 9 millimeters offset from the wheel, and these things are spacers and also for screwing the pulley to. But uh, the flange is actually a little bit thicker, so I have to route a little bit out of the pulley to make it fit around the flange. And now I have to make sure that it's centered perfectly before I screw it on. I used a total of 10 screws to screw that pulley on. It doesn't really get that much force on it, but the belt pulls on it in all directions, and I don't want it coming loose eventually. Just a quick check to make sure the pulley doesn't wobble.
That almost ended in disaster. So that's working pretty good. I also cut the axles to their final length and tapped a hole in the end so I can put a washer on here like this to keep the wheels from sliding off. And next up is making blade guides for the saw like this one here, but that will be in the next video.